Hello. New people wandering in. Hello, hello. So I'm a little bit uh, late tonight. Just stuff going on. Um, my schedule isn't always like super set in stone, so I have to be I have to be kind of flexible sometimes. So I know, I know that can be frustrating. Uh, I apologize for that. But um, not gonna be doing like really anything serious tonight. I've got uh, some. I'm gonna do this little postcard. Uh, some ballpoint action, and then I. I have mentioned before I'm working like on the little like ten page short comic that's gonna be for my Patreon. Um, maybe ten pages, maybe a little more, but that, that's kind of like what I'm planning. But I've got some like really strong visual ideas, so I wanted to take an opportunity tonight to kind of just like get some of them on paper and just do some like really small, rough, like thumbnails, and they they may end up as like panels in the comic, but it's basically just gonna be an exercise to like get what's in my head out of my head and on paper so I'm not just kind of like constantly thinking about it. Um, so, so that'll be, that'll be, uh, interesting. It's gonna be something a little, uh, different that I haven't, haven't really done on stream before, so. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, and sorry I've been doing kind of like shorter streams the last few days. Uh, I've just had a lot of, like, client work, freelance stuff to get back on top of, and I can't always share that kind of stuff, so. And hey everybody, hey everybody. Thanks for, thanks for coming by. Oh, that went from like four people to 30 really quickly. Wow. Welcome, thanks, thank you. Uh, I honestly love, like, how severe the autocorrect is. On some of the comments, I will t like. I'm I'm sorry. It's like I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm just kind of like a snarky person, so I I may make fun of you. Um, if you if you're autocorrect, spell something silly, and it's it, I'm not trying to make fun of you. I just I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. Don't don't take it personally. It's just I think autocorrect is so funny sometimes. I'll draw on like a like big tank with I mean what else but pouches on it, right? That have some place to put all your tank stuff. Um this pen is pilot downforce. It's a ballpoint pen. Uh fine point, I think. Really interesting, really interesting pen. It's it's just a ballpoint, yeah. It's just like a really fine tipped one, and the ink cartridge when you when you press the action in, it pressurizes the ink cartridge. So there's like I'll show you. You may not be able to see it super well, but there's there's like a, essentially a piston in here. So whenever you push the action down, it like pressurizes the ink so that it doesn't skip as much. I don't know, like, it's probably unnecessarily fancy. I use it just because I like the size of the, the ballpoint. And the inconsistency is really nice. I don't know if that can really be attributed to the fancy action on the pen, but... Uh, it's fun to use, anyway. It feels nice. And they're not super expensive. This one, this one I've had for a long time. It's lasted me for probably close to a year of, like, fairly regular drawing with it. Yeah, <laughs> all things fancy or necessary. I like that. Yeah, sometimes it's all about just like, honestly, if something looks or feels cool, like, that just makes it more enjoyable to use. There's nothing wrong with that. Felt like drawing a big, a big tank. I don't I don't draw vehicles all that often. I enjoy it. It's just not something I do fairly regularly. So I just I just felt like doing something a little bit different tonight. I was just like I had kind of a long day, 
Like, and I was really tired. I just didn't sleep well last night, so I was kind of just feeling like zapped. And just, normally I'll try to like get some drawing done in the afternoon, like while my son is playing and stuff. And I just like wasn't feeling it today. So I kind of just let it sit and figured I'd come back to it later. It is totally Metal Slug inspired. I, I love Metal Slug, especially the vehicle designs. Uh, big, big, chunky tanks with huge barrels and, and stuff. Uh, plus, I just love those games, and the art direction is so great. It's hard not to be inspired by them. Oh, but yeah, so I was feeling kind of off today, but it, it came back to me in the afternoon. I honestly just needed to get, like, some sleep. I took a, took a nap during the day, and that's just what I needed. Hello, hello. Nice, nice little face there. Once this video is uploaded to YouTube, it'll be totally lost, but... <laughs> Still, I, I liked it in the short time I we had together. Oh, my name is pronounced Merrick Jiraki, for those of you who are curious. And that's like the totally Americanized version. It's a Polish name, so uh, in Polish it's pronounced Marek, but... Either way, I don't really mind. Uh, it's cool both ways, so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm American. I was born in, in the United States, so saying it the American way doesn't... Or saying it the Polish way, it's, I, I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't really mean anything to me. Burb. Yep, I thought exactly. You're watching Dexter? Is that is that the show still going on? Somebody mentioned they're watching Dexter. I'm, I'm glad you think this is more important. I watched that show a little bit. I think like the first three seasons, maybe. But... Off topic, anyway. Whoops. Sorry about that. Just went to like scratch my nose and just nailed the camera. And somebody asked what I'm what I'm recording on. I'm recording on an iPad. The uh the software works fine on the iPad, so actually works really nice. No, thank you. I think it's funny because like to me I feel like I actually have really messy lines. Like I just don't try too hard at making them like nice and smooth. But Thank you, I appreciate that. Now where am I at here? Yeah, I don't know if it ended or anything. No spoilers though. Referring to Dexter. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, I mean, if you look, if you look really close, like, my lines aren't super clean. I mean, they're pretty wobbly, but I like them wobbly. I don't know, thank, I mean, thank you, anyway. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a good compliment, regardless. Uh, yeah, I've got, uh, for those of you who are, who are, uh, who are waiting on the comic books from, from Gumroad, I'm super sorry that they've taken so long. I just finished doing all of the little thank you drawings inside for all of the current orders. So the, that's going to be going out soon. So anybody that's ordered them in the last two weeks, and I think the, the longest time anybody's had to wait, I think is like 15 days, which I'm really sorry about that. Like, you shouldn't have to wait that long, but... 
Um, they should be on their way tomorrow. Oh, or Friday, at the latest. But I wanted to wait to uh, send them all out at the same time. And I would have gotten them done a lot sooner. Uh, but like I said, I've been like I've had some client stuff that's been uh, pressing that needed to get done. So I'll probably that'll probably be my, like my plan from now on. Anybody who orders them will like I'll be sending them out in batches like every two weeks. So if you're wondering like you know if you've waited a little bit and you haven't got one like you know don't hesitate to uh, hit me up. But anybody who has a current order in those will be out. Those should be coming out very soon. And uh, somebody, a couple of people also mentioned the, the deal on uh, on Gumroad, and I believe that all you had to do was uh, type in the like little passcode thing I get. So I'll, I'll give you that, I'll give that to you guys again. And uh, I'm also going to show you like I made a little card with all my relative links. So Patreon, uh, that's my Patreon. You can go there to support me monthly. Lots of cool rewards and exclusive content on there. Gumroad is my store. My digital art books are there as well as the physical comic book I was just talking about. And this is my YouTube channel. This is where the uh, the replays end up after after they're done and I've uploaded them. And if you go to Gumroad and type in this as like the purchase code, then I think it's a I think I did a dollar off. If you type that in, I'm pretty sure it should work. Uh, just periscoping, just like that. If you want to go check that out, you can get a dollar off exclusive for, for Periscope peoples. It just as a you know, a very small thank you for, for coming by. And yeah, thanks thanks for answering that. Uh, my Instagram is uh M Jiraki, spelled like my name. Yeah, and the postcards for uh, for Patreon uh, will be going out tomorrow as well, or they should be. I'm basically just waiting on like funds to transfer from PayPal so that I can go and and mail them. And that's like it's always something I struggle with because like sometimes it takes two days, sometimes it takes three days or four days. It's just hard to plan around PayPal sometimes because it's kind of fickle waiting for the transfer to deposit. And like all all of the all the all the funds I use to like mail my stuff, that's that's all money I make from from doing art. So you know, like I'm I'm pretty much like like financing everything uh, with the money I make. So so sometimes that's why that's why things get delayed. And that that's my excuse. I'll stop making excuses now and just draw and talk about something else. Or just not talk because I can't think of anything else to talk about. But yeah, these postcards that I've been drawing, these are, uh, these are, these are the, basically the type of postcard you would get, a typical thing you would get for the postcard reward on my Patreon, which is twenty five bucks a month. And I'll send one of these to you each month that you pledge that amount. And that's that's along with all the access to the exclusive content that I don't. Um, I don't post elsewhere. Yeah, I try to be as transparent as possible um, with my work, with my clients, and, and with my customers too. Because sometimes, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty limited by my location and the fact that I'm a stay-at-home dad during the day. So, like having to plan trips to the post office is like much more intensive than not having a kid. You know, <laughs> so. Like my apologies, but I, I'm doing the best I can. And I, I'm saying all this immediately after I said I wasn't going to make excuses anymore. <laughs> so I lied. Um, I mean, it's with the Patreon thing that I've been mentioned with the fake accounts and people were stealing my work. I mean, it's it's as sort as it's going to be for now. Patreon is working um, on 
I, I I sent them an email and they emailed me back saying that they're you know basically that they're working on it and stuff like that and I I got it sorted out. I re I removed what I believe to be the fake account so that should be taken care of. Um, I had to remove some of the links to like my exclusive downloads from Patreon, but after after um, basically after this like billing process, which I, I'm pretty sure everything is processing for this month's payments or is very soon going to be done processing, then we'll be starting the month fresh. I, I kind of like I have some stuff that I was going to post but decided not to. Uh, for the sake of more stuff getting stolen until it kind of got worked out a little bit more. So I'm, I'm sorry that my Patreon has been a little slow. Um, I wish I could change that, but it is what it is. And basically for, for anybody who, who didn't catch it in the other streams, the way I mentioned it, uh, there were basically like fake or bot accounts on my Patreon that were pretending to pledge an amount of money to gain access to my locked content. And all of that, all of my content for my Patreon, like 99% of it, was posted to another website uh, without my opinion, or without my permission. Without my opinion. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was, that was pretty rough. And I, I mean, I'm over it now, like, it's, what's done is done. But I'm just kind of trying to do damage control at this point. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the best news. So this this has been kind of an interesting week, but yeah, getting it sorted, getting it sorted. It's it's fine. It's gonna be good. I have gotten a lot of support from people who are like, well, you know, like maybe it's time for me to kick in with a real pledge to try to even it out. And like, thank you, thank you so much. It it does it does help a lot. And, you know, like, I was, I was planning, because, because of the fake accounts, they, like, some of, some of my, like, tier goals were met, which my tier goals were, like, to start, you know, posting more content with, related to my comic books, and, like, do some short comics for you guys, and just generally give you more stuff to look at, and, like, removing the fake pledges, obviously, like, bumped it back down, but I'm still gonna try to, uh, get that stuff done, because I know you guys are probably excited about it, and, I don't want it to be a bummer, like, oh, well, you know, since I'm not actually getting the money, I can't do that. I don't want to be that kind of guy, so I'm going to try to do uh, everything that I can uh, to give you guys some more some more content. Also, to make up for the fact of fact that it's been slow lately. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate, I appreciate all the support. But it's good. It's good. It happens, you know. It happens. Just got to keep on going. And right now I'm drawing a tank, for those of you that weren't asking. It's kind of like just the top of the tank, like just the turret part. There's going to be like a dude leaning on it. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm drawing right now. Not going to dwell on the negative. No use in that. Yeah, and the goal was, the first goal that that got met was, you know, basically I'd, I'd said that I'd make a little, like, art book collection of all of the uh, drawings I've done rel relative to my comic book view teal, like, over the last more than a year, as well as all the pages of the comic. There's like 30 pages when I ran as a ran it as a weekly. Um, so I'm not I'm not gonna like go back on that. Like I I already finished it and posted it. And unfortunately, like all that content was stolen. But I obviously still want you guys to be able to enjoy that. Uh, so I'm not gonna like remove it or anything. I w it is removed for for now just to mitigate the the theft of the content. But I'll be reposting it. Don't worry. Uh, and I mean, I guess it could be a robot head. Like, but I was drawing the tank treads down here, so it's it's totally intended to be a tank. And this is like a big 
pouch that's like hanging off of it. It kind of does look like a face, so I get I get where you where you're coming from with that. Always pouches, always pouches. And thank you, thank you. Yeah, I can't help myself. I'm, I always try to draw a little bit less detail, do try to keep things more spontaneous, but I can't help it. I just draw the detail. I, I, I can't. I can't help myself. And this is for me. Like I feel like <laughs> I'm try. I'm trying to draw low detail here, which is kind of you know not really working, but <laughs> you know. I'll get there. Yes, that is true. Most most of my websites are are searchable. Like if you if you, uh, oh and yeah, I almost forgot that I was going to put the Gumroad store up again. I will do that. I'm almost done with this. So. Uh, yeah, if you like wondering what my like Patreon is or anything, if you just Google like Merrick Draki Patreon or for anything else, you know like Merrick Draki. Uh, well, that boot got weird. Merrick Draki, Twitter, Merrick Draki, Instagram, any, if, whatever you're looking for. Like, it's all... I Google myself regularly. <laughs> Google myself. Um, to make sure that all that stuff is, is accessible. Hey, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten a really like great response um, from these from these streams. Uh, people seem to really enjoy them, which is why which is why I'm trying to do them uh, regularly as much as possible. Because I want you guys to have more of the things that you enjoy. And thank you for enjoying my art. So here's a, here's a little tank, and I'll, I'll erase the pencil later after. After I'm done, and I'm sure that the ink is all dry and everything, it's a ballpoint, so I have no doubt, but just for my own sanity, I like to let it set for a while. So yeah. There's that. And I'll probably, this is going to be a shorter stream tonight, and I apologize for that, but um, just because like I'm going to try to get to bed early, and uh, I already knocked out some client stuff. Yeah, Jiraki. Jiraki. I know, it's 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 kind of a it's, it's not a name you see a lot, so it's it's not an American name. But honestly guys, like, you know, don't sweat it, because like I'm so used to so used to my name being mispronounced through the years that it's it's nothing new to me. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. I'm just going to spend some time doing some like little thumbnails. Like I mentioned before, um, for this short comic that I'm working on, uh, I just have like a lot of visuals in my head, and I just kind of want to, just kind of want to like get them on paper. And these are, these are going to be like pretty small, scratchy stuff. But I'll talk about like thumbnail philosophy and you know the benefit of drawing thumbnails and thumbnails are really beneficial if you want to just get an idea out of your head onto paper to like save it for later because I'm the kind of person if I have an idea I kind of dwell on it and like it's stuck in my head and like I feel like it takes up space and sometimes I need to like free up space so I draw some little thumbnails and sometimes I start by just drawing little boxes like you see here and then just like thinking about it as like a comic panel or like a comic page and just kind of like filling the boxes with stuff so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and like not not try to spend too much time like not really get into little details but kind of just do a lot of like uh, shapes and shadows and, and stuff like that 
And like, I'll come back to these like once I start actually working on the comic to like get ideas or like to review them and think, you know, maybe I'll like change some stuff and but I've just got a lot of ideas and I just need to kind of like noodle them out a little bit. And this guy, this character is, I still haven't settled on a name for him, but you may have seen him before with like this kind of like Plague Doctor-ish mask. Uh, he's, he's a lot of fun to draw, especially uh, in profile. Just got a cool shape to his head. Hello, thumbs. Yeah, they're pretty great. I mean, like, I can grab stuff. The whole, like, opposability thing is, uh, pretty awesome. Ah, ha, ha, art jokes. Yeah, I know you're talking about thumbnails. I know, I know. So this dude is, like, he, he's, he's a pretty mysterious character, and... His backstory was something that I was going to include in the comic book. Like, uh, much later, obviously. But I, f I feel like that was too too cliche. Like, I, you know, he's a really he's a really interesting character. And, like, he's going to have... He's going to play a pretty integral role. And I'm still iffy about the pronunciation of that word. Integral? Integral? I, th I feel like it's integral, but... I don't know. Bear with me. But... I decided instead that it'd be fun to do his backstory as a short comic, so like you kind of know his backstory, and like there's gonna be like a lot of empty space between the short comic and like where we find him in the actual comic, but so it'll leave like some stuff it'll leave some stuff open, but yeah, I mean, I don't know it's it's a fun idea, and I think it'll work really well as kind of like a companion to as a companion to the, the, well, I'm just, like, not talking well right now, as a companion to the actual comic book. Spy vs. Spy, yeah, yeah, I remember Spy vs. Spy. It does, he does look like those guys with the, with the long nose. I see the resemblance, I see the resemblance. And, like, even doing this is, like, almost too much detail for a thumbnail. For me, anyway. Like, I, I tend to get, like, really stick figure-y when I do comic thumbnails. But, like, these these would be ideas for, like, big splash panels or larger panels or, or, or something like that. Um, so, yeah. I mean, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Like, I'll talk about the process. And, like, I'll keep bringing these thumbnails up as I, like, work on this project to kind of, like, compare to see, like, oh, well, this is where it started. You know, so you can see the development of, like, from thumbnail to page. Because a lot of times, like, it's almost exactly the same, or sometimes it's super different. There's, like, ominous figures. Like, I'm not going to talk a lot about, like, what's actually going on in these panels, because I'm going to want you guys to, obviously, to read it for yourself. So it may be kind of mysterious uh, on its own in that way, but... Kind of abstracty. Well, thumbnails are kind of just. Somebody asked, like, if if thumbnails are like the rough copy of comics. Thumbnails are they? They're not necessarily like strictly tied to comics. Um, I do, I do, I do thumbnails for most of my large illustrations, um, just because it's a quick way to explore ideas without committing a lot of time. So if you're doing a large drawing that's going to take a lot of time, you want to do thumbnails first to kind of, you know, explore your composition without spending more than like, you know, what am I spending on these? Like a minute, minute and a half at the most. Um, because if you just start drawing straight onto the page with pencil and stuff, like you're you're probably gonna want to, unless you have a really strong idea of what you want to draw, you're probably gonna be wanting to make like a lot of adjustments and stuff. So, like doing thumbnails is a great way to do that without committing a lot of time and wasting a lot of time. Uh, for comics, it's like I'm not doing thumbnails in a comic 
focused manner right now. When I do thumbnails for comics, it'll basically be like tiny versions of the pages to explore like the panel flow. And, and it's all the same concept, like exploring the uh, composition of the comic page and stuff like that. Um, but I don't, I don't draw them like this. I'll draw it like, just for example, you know, I'll, I'll draw like a box and like, I'll do it a little bit larger than this. So I'm just doing this for like speed's sake. You know, basically like draw out the panels like that and then have like basically where everything's going to be in each panel, you know. Um, it's like super rough before I sketch the large page because if you just go straight into sketching a comic book page, you can kind of find like you want to squeeze more into that page and by the end, like the, the, your, your panels will start out like really large, you know. And then as you want to start, like, cramming more stuff into the page, like, you find you're still, like, getting, like, a lot of, like, really small panels near the end. And, like, that can work if you're doing, like, a frantic build-up or something like that. But, like, it's generally, generally you want to kind of, like, have it more of, like, an even uh, flowing pace. So that that's a great way to to uh, explore composition in comics as well. But, no, it's not, it's not something that's uh, strictly uh, tied to comics. And it's all about, you know, your way of doing stuff, too. Like, I, I always recommend drawing thumbnails for larger stuff, like I said, but some people feel comfortable with just drawing straight onto the page, and if you do, then more power to you. Um, I think, like, it's probably just more of the perfectionist than me. And yeah, thumbnails are always a fun thing to, like, add onto your books for, for people to see. To, like, have them in the back and stuff, to kind of, like, show your process. Kind of like I'm showing my process now. Uh, there's going to be, there's, like, some pretty, like, some themes of, like, you know, abandonment and lack of purpose in this comic. So, like, I, I'm, I'm aiming for a lot of, like, really ominous, heavy drawings. Um, and uncharacteristic for my, for my work uh, at times, like, my comic work is usually pretty dark. I like ex exploring a lot of uh, dark themes. Yeah, good night. Thanks for stopping by. See, so yeah, we'll see. I mean, it'll be getting on the on the road uh, pretty soon here. I still have a bunch of stuff to work on. I might, might I'm not going to be. I'm probably not going to be streaming tomorrow night. Uh, I mean, that's almost definite. Because uh, I'm going out of town for the weekend. So the soonest I'll be back on is Sunday night, if I make it back on uh, this weekend. So, but I'll make up for it. I'll make up for it uh, next week by doing some more in-depth stuff. And just do, like, try to do more streams. I know it's kind of been on and off the last last week or so. Oh, glad you like that perspective. Little spy versus spy guy there. <laughs> such a good, uh, such a good silhouette. That you can't, you, your eye is like immediately drawn to that head. I wouldn't be surprised if that's why the spy versus spy artist. I don't know who the artist is on that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he designed him that way. Because your eye just pops straight to that shape. And yes, I do have an Instagram. My Instagram username is M. Jiraki, like the letter of my first name and my last name, uh, just like that. Is it, or is it Merrick Jiraki? It's, it's one of those. If you search Merrick Jiraki on Instagram, you'll find me. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a Tumblr that I, that I update regularly. On, honestly, you, you really only need to follow, like, one of those, because it's all pretty much the same stuff, but, uh, yeah, and normally, like, I draw, I draw in this format. If I'm, if I'm drawing, like, full page and leave some space down here, uh, to, like, write notes. I may write notes, like, later on, um, but I actually don't have any notes right now, but sometimes if I, if I, like, draw something and I don't like it, or I want to say, like, oh, you know, like, push the perspective more, like, I'll write that in the note. But I'm actually pretty happy with all of these. So. Yeah. And, uh, I'll probably just do...
I'll do like a little cooldown sketch. Because like I said, I'm not going to be doing a super long stream tonight. So I'll, I'll do something. I'm not going to do thumbnails the entire time. Uh, and honestly, that's probably as much as I need to do right now. These are like the big scenes I had in mind in my head. So yeah. And uh... Oh, Instagram is down right now? Is that is that for real? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't checked it. I posted, I posted the announcement for the stream, so I don't know if that even uh, went through. So, sorry if it didn't. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm feeling like just doing, doing something, doing something close to home, so I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw a, a, a bunny character. What is bunny? Is that lupine? I think? You describe it, you know, like feline or canine or equine. I think it's, I think it's lupine. Um, yeah, and I'm actually gonna change this up a little bit. Uh, so I got, I got a little bit more um, client stuff to work on tonight. So uh, I don't want to draw that a straight profile. I was about to draw that a straight profile. I don't want to do that. Try to avoid straight profiles as much as possible. And then just want to draw like I have, I have an image in my mind of like a figure just like leaning over, like leaning over a ledge or something to look on the other side. I just really wanted to draw that. I don't know why. Sometimes if I have a strong image in my head like that, like I just I need to draw it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, somebody, I, somebody complimented my, my fingernails, said they have nice fingernails. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, and I repeat the questions because I do upload these uh, to YouTube and you can't see the comments. So uh, if you're wondering why I'm just like repeating everything you say, that's why. Um, yeah, thank you. I actually, uh, when I was much younger, I had the bad habit of biting my fingernails. So I, I got in the habit of just like cutting them really close uh, to prevent myself from biting them. And I just like, I can't do it any other way now. And like hangnails and stuff really bother me. So I like always try to take really good care of my hands because, I mean, my, my hands are pretty much my livelihood, right? So it's worth it to take care of my hands. exactly what's going on with this post. Sometimes I just scribble around until I find it. Um, if she's going to be like, have her hands on her knees, I think is kind of like what I'm going for. Like her knees are obviously down here, but I'm thinking about that in the pose. If she was like crouching down, leaning over to look at something. I don't, I don't know. I think that, I think that feels pretty good. Let me bring that shoulder in a little bit more. I try to keep it loose, and I have drawn. I think I've drawn a. Maybe I've drawn a satyr or a fawn. Maybe not. If I have, if I have, it's been a while. There will be some characters like that in my comic book. Lots of lots of, lots of anthropomorphic characters. They're so much fun to draw. Like, I don't, I don't know why, like, I, I've only really been drawing them for, like, the last year and a half or so, uh, regularly. I don't know why I never really got into it, so, got into it sooner, because I really, really enjoy it. Like, just, like, a crazy amount. Like, I would totally stop drawing humans <laughs> if that, if that were, like, a feasible thing, and just draw, uh, animal characters forever. Who knows what she's looking at? 
Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do some ballpoint action on this. I'll oh, see you later. See you later. I'll be posting the, the replay of this on YouTube as with everything else if you want to catch the rest of it. Good night, good night. Thanks for coming by. Okay, alright, so I want to, like, a lot more get into the mindset of, like, drawing simple, um, or at least, like, very deliberately, so I'm, I'm trying to, like, psych myself up. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming by. I'm, I'm glad you guys en enjoy this as much as you do. At least I, th I think you enjoy it. Uh, or else why would you keep coming back? I really enjoy doing it, so... So everybody wins, right? Yeah, I have a lot more plan for the, a lot more plan for the future of like my online presence. I want to do a lot more video stuff because I've, I've, I wasn't sure if I would like doing like recordings and streams and stuff, but I really like it. So I want to start doing more uh, videos where I can talk about stuff in depth and as well as doing. By getting the equipment to do high definition streams. That, that's all stuff that I'm thinking about. So, oh, what the future may bring. We will see, won't we? Hopefully, good stuff. Hopefully, good stuff. And it's like, I'm super happy that you guys are inspired by me. Like, that's, that's just like a huge, huge thing for me. Uh, and that, that just like makes me so happy that I can share that. Cause like art is not only fun for me to do. Like I love, I just love drawing in general. But like it just makes it, it like creates a, n a new level of enjoyment when you guys find it inspiring or you guys get enjoyment out of it or you know like learn something or just bounce ideas off of me. That just that just like it's a great feeling, and I'm I'm really happy to be able to do it. And just really thankful for. For all of you guys in general, just for being such great fans, um, I feel like I just and like I feel I've, everybody I think probably says this about the people that admire them, but I feel like I have the best fans. Like I just, you guys make my day for real, and I'm glad to be able to. I'm happy to be able to say that in a more personal manner on these on these streams. I feel like it's more personal than being, you know like saying on Instagram or whatever, like, thank you, but, for real, thank you. And, uh, totally doing, like, a 180 and going to a different topic before things get, like, super crazy mushy around here. Um, I wanted to talk just, just quickly about, uh, you know, like, art frustration and art block and, and stuff like that, because I experience it too, um, and I experienced some of it today, like I was saying, like, I was, I was really tired today, just feeling kind of, like, beat in general, and, like, tried to sit down and draw something, and, like, nothing was really coming out, and so I spent some time, I'll, sh I'll show you, like, I spent some time just, like, drawing, like, a, a just, like, horrible scribble in here, like, just really dig into the paper, because I find, like, drawing, like, repetitive, scribbly stuff like that, that is, like, really, um, kind of cathartic and, and soothing. Uh, especially when I'm, like, frustrated that nothing good is coming out of my pencil or my pen. But, uh, today, like, I think it was a good example of when, if you're tired or just, like, low on energy or something, like, sometimes drawing just won't come naturally to you. And that's, that's okay, you know, it happens. The best thing to do is, in my opinion, take a break, sit back, get some rest, get whatever you need, whether it be, you know, some sleep or, or food or, or whatever. Uh, take care of yourself, and then come back to it later, because, like, 
I'm the kind of person who will sit there and just like bang my head against the wall and like try over and over and over until I'm just like too frustrated and give up. And I don't think that's like really particularly healthy. So something I, I did today is just took a break, came back to it later, and now now I'm here. I I relaxed and now I'm, I'm I feel like I'm drawing pretty well. Like, if you think of yourself as, like, a, a machine, you know, like, machines have to be cared for and serviced and, and stuff like that. So if you feel like you're you're running kind of rough, then maybe it's time to do some self-care. Take care of yourself. Don't, don't stress yourself out if the art's not coming to you. That was just kind of like, I was thinking about that today, just because I was getting really frustrated. I, I I honestly thought about it, and I think this is kind of funny because this is not something I would have done before. I honestly thought about it like through the through the lens of like, all right, like what would you tell somebody on your stream if they asked you about it? And I was like, okay. And so that kind of like helped me take a step back and yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I try to, uh, about the facial expressions. Somebody, somebody mentioned they like the facial expressions. They're really cute. Um, I like drawing cute shit. I really do. I spent a, a long time, like, pretty much exclusively drawing not cute shit. <laughs> so, like, I, I've, the last couple of years, like, in, in my high school, high school art career, and, like, even the years past that, I, I drew a lot of, like, violent like dark gory shit and I still draw that stuff but like that was like I almost exclusively draw that kind of drew drawed drew that kind of stuff so it's it's like it's kind of new for me which is interesting but I really like drawing cute stuff because honestly people would ask me the question like why don't you ever draw anything cute I never really had a good answer it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, like, I just don't. But now I do, and I'm happy that I do. And I'm happy that you think it's cute. I'm just over here saying, like, I know my stuff's cute. <laughs> but, <laughs> I try, I, I do try pretty hard to make, make stuff cute. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you next time. And have a good night. Like I was just saying, you know, take care of yourself. Uh, and yeah, I, I do like instinctively mimic uh, facial expressions while I'm drawing. I think that's a, that's a, like a supernatural thing to do. <laughs> I don't mean like supernatural, like you know, Sam and Dean, but I do mean um, like it. It just like comes naturally to kind of like if you're drawing a face, like you'll you'll contort your your face in that same fashion. But yeah, also to kind of like get the feel of it and stuff too. I knew there had to be some supernatural, at least one supernatural fan on here. Uh, I, I used, yeah, no, no, that's that's me too. I haven't. I haven't watched it in quite some time, um, but I used to watch it pretty regularly. It kind of got samey after a while, but I mean, while I liked it, I really liked it. I'm not even gonna lie. Still, you know, like a supernatural that show, really fun formula. Seasons four and five were really good, uh, and I think that's pretty much where I stopped watching. Like, I may have gotten a few episodes into season six, or seven even, 
Um, I don't I don't quite remember because it's been years since I've watched it. Um, probably about three years, I think. So if I'm like totally off with the timing of those, then then forgive me. It's it's been a while. But I honestly really 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 enjoyed the first season. And like going back, I think the first season is still probably my favorite, just because everything was new, and like there's there's a lot of mystery, and I, I really like that. It it felt like really um, it just like felt good. Like this first season had such a good flow to it. I was talking about Supernatural, the show. I just made like a stupid joke and then kind of got into it. Yeah, I, I like the, the fact that they did, you know, the, kind of the randomized sequence because Mostly because I really enjoyed the episodes that were just like kind of not really, not really uh, like story episodes, but they kind of just like hunted a random monster. I really liked those because they were like they felt really like X Files, X Files y to me. And as a massive fan of the X Files, like that was a, a very good thing um, because it was just you know it was it was the X Files formula and honestly X Files did that a lot too where they they'd have episodes where, that had no story content that were just like monster hunting and I, I really liked those just because it was like because I growing up in the 90s like I was a kid who I watched like a lot of Power Rangers and those shows were always always very formulaic you know like you know find the monster fight the monster, can't beat the monster, have to grow big, or form the Megazord, or whatever. You know, it was like, every episode was the same, so I grew up, like, really, you know, like, submerged in that formulaic stuff, so I really like the episodes that are like, do research on the monster, like, go find the monster, someone's in trouble, gotta go save them, like, I don't know, I just, I really like it. And when I do watch TV, it's mostly for, like, a guilty pleasure, so I want to get, like, I like I like kind of like really cheesy stuff. Once it started, once once Supernatural started taking itself too seriously, is when I kind of stopped liking it. Because I think like with stuff like that, that's based in you know like fantasy or sci-fi or you know supernatural, ha, <laughs> kind of subject matter, like the more serious you try to take it, the less serious it comes off. And I think there's definitely like, you know, gray areas that you want to aim for. But like you kind of have to, you kind of have to have some, some brevity and suspension of dis disbelief in there if you're going to be uh, working with that kind of subject matter. And like honestly that's the reason a lot of like modern anime bothers me is because it takes itself way too seriously. And like I know I said I was gonna like try to draw <laughs> this is what happens when I try to draw simple. <laughs> this is what happens. I just can't do it. It's really something I'm working on. It's really something I'm working on. Because I want to be able to just like sometimes draw like quick and simple stuff without getting really detail intensive. But it's just kind of like my natural state to really dig into the detail. But to avoid, you know, going completely off topic, yeah, like, I don't know. Don't, don't take stuff too seriously, just in general. So yeah, here's my uh, puzzle bunny girl. Uh, cool down for the night. This is pretty much going to call it a night for me. Yeah, that's, that's, that's me drawing. That's me drawing simple. <laughs> so, oh, jeez. At least if I can like get to a point where I'm doing that detail a little bit faster, then then it'll be good. Um, and yeah, I will I will answer answer that last last question before I go. Kim Jong Gi, somebody asked what I think of him, uh, is one of my favorite artists. Uh, he he's top five for sure, uh, because that dude like he just draws straight onto the paper and like does amazing like 
perspective and like crazy detail and like he does it fast so even if I'm not able to like force myself to draw simple if I can train myself kind of with him as my goal to draw like a lot of great detail really quickly and naturally then you know that's also a good goal to have and yes he is totally a machine if you haven't seen one of Kim Jung Gi's live drawing sessions like Stop whatever you're doing, which I'm guessing is watching me on Periscope, and like go do that like immediately, because you will just be like, if you've never seen that before and you watch him, don't get discouraged because he is a machine. Like he's like absolutely one of the best at what he, at what he does, but man, man alive. I don't know if he has Periscope. He probably should have Periscope, um, but he does so many live drawings, and there's so many videos of him doing that kind of stuff already that it's everywhere, man. But yeah, that's the that's the stream tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Sorry, sorry, it's a little, sorry, it's a little shorter uh, than usual and a little later. Um, like I said, I'll be out of town this weekend, so I, I won't be doing a lot of streaming this weekend, if any. But I will be trying to make up for it next week with some more comic book related stuff. Some more, I'll be working on some more Star Wars bounty hunters because uh, I got some more of those to do and some other. Maybe we'll try some different stuff. I'll kind of I'll 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 use the weekend to think about what I want to do. And if you guys have any suggestions, uh, don't hesitate to hit me up on Twitter, or Instagram, um, stuff like that. Uh, and before you go, if you're curious about um, stuff other than my social media, like my Patreon or my Gumroad, uh, those are the links there. And uh, if you want to go to Gumroad to get a dollar off, you type in that code uh, at the purchase to get a dollar off any of my stuff. So yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you have a great night. I'll see you later.